Hi everybody, in today's video is my April favourites and I've got a few products, more than I usually have and some that I can't really show you. So, this month was crazy because I um, actually went on holiday at the end of March, came back at the beginning of April, so and I started my new job this month as well, so I've had a crazy month myself. Uh, I'm going to start off with some beauty products. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually what I have my lips now. And it is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm. I have heard so much about these um, lip creams by NYX. And I recently purchased an order, actually I did it through eBay because it was cheaper. I got two, I got Stockholm and Milan. And I was trolling YouTube for ages for looking for swatches of these to pick out my two favourite colours. I chose this one as a nude and I absolutely love it. The only thing is I think I might have a faulty one. <laughs> this is what you do when you order things off eBay. Because there isn't no suction. You know when you bring it out and there's like a suction of it gets rid of the product like on mascaras as well. This one does not. So absolutely loads of product come out on the doe fur applicator. So you've just got to be really careful otherwise it goes all over your face and it's just a disaster. But apart from this I'm really liking it. Usually it's 5 99 I think I got this for like 4 19 So definitely check out eBay for cheaper alternatives. Another lip product which I've been loving on the warmer days when I don't really want to have a heavy lip product on is what I've been talking about quite a few times actually now is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector in number 5. Right, <laughs> Viviana does makeup on YouTube here, loves it, so does Fleur de Force. Um, I picked this up in Spain and I actually mentioned it a few times in, I think it was like my part two of my vlog, I'll link it up here if you want to see it. It's the first time I've probably vlogged a holiday and I absolutely loved it, so I love going back and reliving the memories. Anyway, this was 14 euros, if I was to buy it in the UK it would cost me... I think it's £16, so it's quite a bit cheaper. €14, Euros, I think, is about £12. So £4 cheaper, and that's why I knew I had to get it. I got shade 5. I really want to try, I think it's shade 7 or 8. They're the newer shades, I really want to try them. They look fantastic. So, yeah, this is just, it's a bit more of a lip gloss, but it's just a lovely tint of colour. I love the applicator as well, it's so weird. <laughs> yeah, it's a sponge applicator and all you do is squeeze it and the product comes out and you distribute it over your lips and it's just amazing. I love this. Now next is something a bit different. It's from Benefit and it's their, their Real Tinted Primer. So this you're supposed to put on before your mascara, but it kind of acts as mascara as well. This is though in shade, this is a um, brown, so I always have to put a black mascara on over it anyway. But I love this. This really makes me want to try out the Their Real Mascara anyway because this is just, ugh, so good. It just lifts and opens up my eyelashes because I have really short and horrible eyelashes. This just makes it incredible. Now next is a product I am wearing on my nails. This is Ciate Paint Pot. This is a Ciate Nail Varnish. This is in Boombox and I absolutely love it. I got this actually from TK Maxx. If you're looking for cheap nail varnishes that are actually high-end products, go to TK Maxx, it's incredible. I think this only cost me $4.99 or something, and I think they retailed, uh, I think they released a tenner, I think, if you went into a shop to buy them. Um, I absolutely love this colour, it's just a perfect, is it a light blue? Yeah. Turquoisey blue. It's just really nice to have on the nails anyway. Now next is also something that I got from Spain and it is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream Perfume. I have fallen in love with it. I actually fell in love with it before I got it. I was going to say bought and then got it. Before I bought it. <laughs> this is, oh I think it's like 35 euros which is pretty good which is 30 pounds. And in the UK I will be spending at least 50 pounds on this so it's one of them things from products where I always walk into the perfume area and spritz myself with it and then just like dream about buying it but it costs way too much. 
oh, it's just such a fresh floral scent. I just oh, I love it. This is definitely going to be my summer scent anyway. It's beautiful and I love the um, bottle. It's just so pretty. The next thing is a bit of a weird one. It is a head scratcher, which is I know, I know, I know, is also from Spain. You will know if you watch my vlogs. Um, this is from a shop called Ale Hop. Uh, I don't know if it's just in Spain, this shop, but if you're in Spain, you need to go check this shop out because it's incredible. I'll see if there's a yeah, website or anything anyway, so I'll link it below. But this was just, I think it was like three euros or something. Anthony bought it and it is just a life changer, obviously. Oh, it just feels so good. And I probably just ruined my hair, but this is incredible. Like, it's just, ugh, so good. I've also got a top which I actually bought for taking to Spain with me. And it's just a basic cami top. It's from Primark, actually. So it only cost me like three, four pounds, I think. But it's the colour I love. I absolutely love this blush toned pink. It's going to be amazing for in summer. And I need more clothes with this colour. It's just so beautiful. It's just a basic top. I was wearing this with skirts, shorts, with trousers, with jeans. It could be dressed up, it could be dressed down. It's just, it's really alternative piece. And I love it. I just, I hope it lasts quite a while, you know, because it's Primark, it might not last so long, but it's really pretty anyway, I love it. So now I have one program and one film. The first one is a film which I actually saw in March. I saw it the day we flew, the day before we flew to Spain, and it is Batman vs Superman. I know, I know. I'm pretty sure all the films I talk about are actually either Marvel or DC or action or something like that. Anyway, Batman vs Superman is DC, and I love it. I love Ben Affleck as a, as Batman. He's I don't think it's as good as Christian Bale, but you know, it's, it's funky to look at. He's good to look at, so. And I've actually never seen any Superman films before. I don't know why. I thought Superman was a bit of a, you know, like a bit of a rubbish superhero. So I never really watched it. And it, it's now made me watch all these Superman films. So, yeah, you should definitely go check it out. It's been. You've probably all. Everybody's heard of it. It's such a talked about film at the minute. The program is something that you've obviously, most of you will probably have heard of. It is The People vs. O.J. Simpson. This program, I've been addicted to it. I didn't even watch every single episode. But loads of people on YouTube have talked about it. And one night, I think it was like Mondays at 9 o'clock it was on. It's finished now, unfortunately, now I'm talking about it. It was on Mondays at 9 o'clock on BBC Two. And I thought, whilst it was on, I thought, oh, I'll just stick it on and see what all the fuss is about. And I got addicted. Basically, it follows the O.J. Simpson story of the trial of um, the murder. And it's just, like, one episode is specialised on the jury. and uh, Others are just about the um, defence and the defence and the opponents. It's just it's really good to see it. And it really bugs me because my personal opinion on the program I don't want to put it across there because you know OJ Simpson was a big sports personalist in America we don't really know him so much over here but it was just the jurors were huge fans of him which what can you do when it's a celebrity who is on the trial so I'm pretty sure The People vs. O.J. Simpson is on Netflix as well, so if you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. I think I missed the first, like, three episodes, but from then I watched it re religiously every week. Um, you know, you should watch it. Just go educate yourself before you make an opinion of what I said. Go educate yourselves about it, and I think they're actually supposed to be bringing out some more of The People vs other celebrities and stuff so that's gonna be interesting to watch I'm definitely gonna keep up to this because the way they film it is absolutely incredible they bring actors and actresses in who look <laughs> like the people who was actually in the real um who was actually part of the real trial it even includes Chris Jenner's even in it 
but not actually Chris Jenner, it's somebody playing Chris Jenner. Yeah, there's a few faces anyway, whilst you watch it, there's a few faces you'll recognise and some you might not. And anyway, OJ Simpson's in prison now for robbery and kidnap. So I'll play him. Anyway, that's it for my April favourites. Really hope you enjoyed and please like and subscribe to my channel because I'm there somewhere. Please subscribe. And I will see you in my next week's video. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.